I dedicated my thesis to my Grammy, um, Carol Levy Bell, who died in 2019, and I really, really miss her, um, and she inspired me in so many ways that I want to tell you about. Uh, choosing to dedicate the thesis to her was like probably one of the easiest decisions I had to make throughout the whole thesis process. Um, so my Grammy was always a big part of my life um, growing up. And I can still like remember her hugs and everything and she taught me how to knit and would knit me these colorful sweaters and uh, just so many fond memories of Grammy. Um, unfortunately, towards the end of her life, um, Grammy had dementia um, and she was losing um, her memory and it was really hard um, for our family to see it and for her, of course. Um, and it was really hard for me too because a lot of it was happening, a lot of when she was getting worse was happening when I was across the country um, in grad school. And so I would make it a weekly habit to every Friday after I left the lab, I would call Grammy um, to say hi. And some days, were better than others. Some days she didn't remember me. Some days she was confused as to where she was. It was really hard. Um, but so some days she had no clue where I was, or even when she remembered who I was, she didn't remember where I was. Um, and so, but when I would say that I was in grad school and she would ask me what I was studying and I would say biochemistry and she would light up, she would go, Oh, I loved chemistry. I only got to take a single class of it, but I remember I really, really loved it. And it was like this switch had turned on in her head. And it was this memory of a single class she took in like high school years and years ago. She's, her memory has lost all of these other things, but she still remembers this love of science. And when I, I made sure to bring up after that initial time, I made sure to bring up that I was studying biochemistry and every time she would get so excited and there was like this spark lit up and we had this connection um and it was it's just been so meaningful for me and it's been meaningful for me in all sorts of different ways and it's really helped inspired a lot of my science communication efforts because I want to be able to I want everybody to be able to experience like the molecular magnificence that I see um, having this biochemistry training really gives me this really I guess kind of unique outlook on life and on just the amazing things that are happening that we can't even see going on and beyond behind like every little thing all these molecules and all this magic and it just seems so unfair that everybody doesn't get the chance to see all these things and so it was really sad that Grammy had never had the chance to like pursue that love for science and for me pursuing the PhD I'm pursuing my love for science and it makes me feel even like sadder that people like Grammy don't get that opportunity um and so I can't like I want to help as many people as I can to learn and so I can't like give out scholarships or anything like that um but I can try to make science more accessible for more people um and so that's it's really been inspiring um a source of inspiration for me is thinking of people like Grammy so even people who um like, I know a lot of my followers and that sort of thing are undergrads, high school students, pre-med, um, other grad students, that sort of thing. But really, I try to make a little bit of something at least for everybody because I want people to be able, people like Grammy to be able to enjoy that magic. So unfortunately, I didn't like discover this, that this love of science of my grandma's until she was already um, in the depths of dementia. So I really wish that I had known sooner that she had this interest in science. Um, and even if I hadn't, it seems like I should have like not assumed that she wouldn't. Um, I think that a lot of times we make assumptions about people maybe um, being interested or not interested in science. And sometimes it's just people haven't had exposure to science. Um, through no fault of their own, of course, um, or that sort of thing. And so if we just keep making these assumptions, oh, older people aren't interested in science, 
that, that sort of thing, then we don't direct energy to actually trying to teach people. Um, so another thing that Grammy inspired me to do was a couple years ago, I wrote an article for Massive about um, why science education is for seniors is a boon for them and for everyone else. And so really just goes into um, the various benefits for targeting some science education to senior citizens. Um, and so things like, um, I mean, I think that just the value of teaching people and ha being able to help people learn is a benefit enough. But if you're trying to like convince policymakers or that sort of thing, um, senior citizens are often voting, um, a big proportion of the voting um, population. So you want them to be educated on the science topics that really matter. What about healthcare costs? If people are um, don't have the education they need to know that they don't need all these like bazillion of unnecessary medications, but that they do need to take these medications that really do help, then we can help with the whole like polypharmacy problem. There's all sorts of benefits. Um, we can get senior citizens engaged in like citizen science projects, um, helping everybody. And so I really just, a lot of science outreach and that sort of thing is aimed for little kids, which is great because we want to get the next generation excited, but we can't just like ignore this other huge segment of the population who might be interested in learning these things too. Um, so I think it'd be really cool if like science educators could do more, uh, maybe in connection with like seniors, um, senior citizen centers, um, what do you call it? Was, um, like the, where they have, I can't think of the name right now. Um, but the various organizations and that sort of thing. And so I'm really hoping that in the future, this will be something that is given more attention to. Unfortunately, I still have like a lot on my plate and I'm not like a policy person or that sort of thing. Um, but I really hope that people will get inspired um, like I got inspired um, and really pick up that mantle um, and help out. And so yeah, um, check out that article if you want to learn more and I hope that helps. Um, but in the meantime, um, yeah, so, Although Grammy is sadly not here to see um, me defend my thesis, and I know that she would be super, super, super proud and super excited, um, but she's with me um, in her memories um, and in inspiring me every day. And so I just, I hope this helps um, maybe convince one person to pick up the phone and call their grandma, um, tell them just a little bit about their science if they're a scientist or just see what they're interested in um or just really just stay in touch because you never know like when you're not going to have the opportunities anymore um so yeah so grammy this one's for you love you